Hello there, this is Pirate. You're one of the ones that watched my first video. Welcome back. If not, welcome to the channel. It's, right now it's just me going around riding where I live at, chronicling my adventures and kind of rambling like an idiot. But yeah, that's what it is. Going on this little journey of me learning how to produce and edit video and all the other fun stuff that goes along with it. A uh, little bit different scenery today, not so much of the, the countryside. Uh, we're actually in the nearest city to where I live. Uh, not really the best representation of traffic right now. There's a little bit more because it is the International Barbecue Festival this weekend, so apparently it draws people from all over the world. A lot more idiots out on the road, I'm sure. Just traffic in general. But I figured while I'm out in town running some errands, I might as well make a video, show some of it off. But as I'm sure you can guess by the name of it, the International Barbecue Festival, what the whole point and purpose of this event is. It's a shit ton of barbecue. So if you enjoy barbecue and you're ever in this area when it's going on yeah you should probably go check it out what they do is they at least in years past when I've been I haven't actually been in oh shit 10 plus years I don't know it's been a while since I last went to one but they used to shut down you know, a good portion of downtown and set up uh, all sorts of uh, cooking pits and stuff in the middle of the streets and you know, just have a bunch of barbecues cooking and all different kinds of meats and whatnot they had at least used to have like carnival rides and little street vendors set up See how close we can actually get to where they've got everything set up at. Kind of a dreary day. They're not calling for rain, but with the clouds being the way they are, I'm not sure. Also, it's only supposed to get up into the low 60s. Pretty sure that's tornado siren test. Yeah, it is. If you don't live in an area that is, I guess, prevalent to tornadoes, I've only ever really heard it out in the Midwest. But uh, every Friday around noon, they do a test of the tornado sirens. well you can see it up there but they've got the road closed ahead because it takes up all of I should say all but a lot of first and second street right along the riverfront and whatnot at about third so it's, it's a pretty good size area that they take up and oh, the joys of city driving stoplights and more traffic definitely prefer the rural riding and everything a 
bless people. So far today I've seen license plates from Kentucky, Tennessee. Saw one from Indiana earlier when I stopped to eat. One of the problems with this is once it starts going off is trying to find parking. Just because like any event, you know, the longer you wait to show up, the less parking is available and then you get some of these lots that charge stupid amounts just to park. But again, it is what it is. That's if you want to be lazy and park close. Obviously you can park further off and just walk your happy ass to the event, but this day and age most people are too lazy to do that. You know, before I get too far along and forget I'd like to thank everyone that did uh, watch and share the first video you know it definitely helps out a lot trying to get this out to more people and well, like I said hopefully it, it starts to reach a lot more and you know people continue to tune in when I post a new video and share it with their friends and who knows maybe this channel will blow up one day yeah, I was kind of hoping to get a little bit closer show you some more of the riverfront and everything while they were setting everything up but it looks like they've got more than enough of this area all blocked off already but yeah hopefully this will probably be a heavily edited video so you won't see all that much but hopefully what you guys do see you enjoy it's not a bad little city I'm I moved back to it so I always thought it'd be a nice place to retire to not somewhere I'd want to necessarily grow up there's not an abundance of activities for younger people here at least there wasn't when I lived here previously. Yeah, this will probably be a short little video. Don't really know what all to say uh, till I get into the stride of you know determining topics that might be interesting to chat about. It'll probably be shorter videos. Hoping to keep them uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. Time will tell. Hopefully I'll hit that stride where I can make a pretty decent video sooner rather than later. I mean, I guess one of the biggest things around here is the, the barbecue festival. It seems like a lot of people look forward to it every year. It does bring a lot of tourists in. Well, I wonder how many of them drive in and how many of them fly in because there is a little regional airport here which we'll go by. I'm sure a lot of your vendors and people that enter in the competition drive in because they've got all their different prep stuff that they use, you know, spices. I'm sure some of them use specific types of wood or charcoal or different seasonings that may not travel so well via flight. You know, TSA can be a bunch of bastards in that regard. So depending on who you talk to in this area, there's two restaurants coming up on the left that people say you have to try. You have the Big Dipper and then right next to it is Moonlight Barbecue. I personally prefer the Dipper. Not a big fan of Moonlight. I think they're overpriced for what you get and the food quality isn't all that great but it's not bad I like the dipper because it's just a little hole in the wall burger shack you know the grills taste like they've been there for years so they have all that flavoring cooked or seasoned into the grill tops and I don't even think they take credit cards that's how small of a shop it is 
funny, you cross over the bypass and you really see the shift in terrain. Farmlands, airport, or really just the end of one of the runways. Which let me tell you, it's really fun to try and land on that runway when you're not used to piloting a plane. I took a uh, private pilot's course in high school and one of our end of course activities was putting everything we learned to use so we got to go there and our instructor took me and the other student up in a little I think it was a Cessna we got to you know do everything from contacting traffic control tower to get clearance to take off to taxi onto the runway to take off we had to uh, once we got up in the air get our bearings and then we flew over our house to see if we could find it from the air I actually got bitched at by ATC because I kept circling couldn't find out where the hell I was it just looked weird but once we did that we came back around and landed and that happened to be the end of the runway I landed on not a hard thing to do landing a plane just a little weird when you're coming over you have the road and then that dead space and then the runway and it's kind of just gradual slope up a lot of fun trying to get the uh, the distance estimations right in your head you come out here on I think it's every weekend they've got the dirt track open that they do races on don't really know what kind of racing it is if it's like the little mini cars or if it's stock car or what but they do it they also have a drag strip over there that I've heard that they're trying to renovate and get it open again I don't know if they have completed that yet or not I know my brother in high school used to come down here and run his car he actually had a uh, it was a Ford Pro that he went in and modified and turned it into a drag car don't ask me what he used to run I don't remember that was what 15 years ago or so since he's done that And we get some cows. This is a fun little hill. It sucks during the winter time when it gets snowy and shit. You hit it wrong and you're back in town hoping not to go off into a ditch. But I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in to watch this video keep the uh, rubber side down and the shiny side up peace